up everybody we got another fruit for you today one that you have probably never tried before it is called Monstera Deliciosa one of my favorite fruits on the planet and one of the most interesting fruits I've ever seen as far as the way it grows check this thing out that is it right there wow why does it have these things on it see so that is a very unripe, unmature fruit right there. Look like paddles. We've got some more growing up here. And we've got a, a big old plant in the garden. That we're gonna go pick some mature ripe fruits off of. So here is the way it grows. Like a monster. Delicious monster. This thing has got to be prehistoric or something crazy. Beautiful leaf, beautiful plant, beautiful fruit. Let's go get it. In the meantime, look at all of our passion fruit. Boom! Hundreds of fruits this year. All right, so there's the other Monstera plant. We're going to go to the garden. Look at that sky, huh? Look at that wife, huh? Look at those tomatoes, huh? Alright, let's do this, babe. Here we come for the delicious monster. <laughs> Just put this. Here comes a mama and grandma. Oh, you're so lucky. Look at that timing, huh? Alright, back to the fruit. That right there. That's what you're looking for. This one? Both of those are ready to be picked. You can see the scales. Those things fall off once they're ripe. You pick them just like this and then they ripen up. Just Which go one? ahead and snap it right off. Ah. There we go. Ah, smells awesome. So the cool thing about these things is they ripen slowly from top to bottom. Just... Whoa! Yeah. You could theoretically pick these and travel with them and these scales will fall off one by one. I guess we'll show you. So we're gonna wait till they ripen up and you'll get to see. It's a little sad. Beautiful fruit, delicious, amazing. <laughs> As you can see, the little scales are starting to fall off, showing the delicious monster inside. If that one's not coming off, then you don't want to force it. That means underneath is not ripe. So I've covered the other one with some paper towel to make sure that the scales stay on and the bugs don't get inside of it. I think this one has a bit more ripe flesh going on. Yeah. The stuff underneath there is what you eat and it is incredible. It comes off in little sections, sort of like uh, fruta de congee, or custard apple as it's called in English. Its flavor is just absolutely unreal. It's like concentrated green apple bubblegum amazingness. It's so good. Mm, mm, mm. This is incredible. I really want to accumulate all the ripe flesh from a bunch of ripe ones and juice it because I think that would just be the most incredible juice on the planet ever made. This stuff's incredible. It ripens slowly, but it's definitely worth the wait. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you don't wait till it's ripe, it has these, these little spines in it that they look like little hairs. You probably can't see it because like if you've ever had a prickly pear cactus fruit, there's these little tiny mini hairs that'll get stuck in your tongue if you don't skin them or burn off the hairs. And that sort of happens with these. If it's not ripe, if you eat it too close to down here where it's just not quite ripe yet, there'll be these little hairs that'll stick in your tongue and your throat and it gets pretty annoying, but yeah, just wait. It's worth the wait. Put it in your mouth, chew it, enjoy. Thanks for watching. Much love. Peace. Snap, it's happening. Mm. There's seriously fewer things in life that are satisfying as this feeling right now. Mm. Mm. Yes. Undress yourself, why don't you? Mm.